Well, it's an exciting time for us because this is the first CS as Oath, and we have a couple very exciting announcements, uh, one of which, of course, is our relationship with the NFL. And we are uh, putting a lot of uh, presence around that over the course of uh, these days at CES and very proud of that relationship and excited about what that's going to bring for Yahoo Sports and, and Oath as in general. Uh, the second one is something that we've launched that I think is a really interesting initiative, which is the Love Index. Uh, we actually own the rights to love.com. And since we are uh, the, the mission of building brands that people love, we've actually created an index that'll allow this site to be a place where you as the consumer and the advertiser can actually pull analytics to get an understanding of how people are engaging in your brand. And it just kicked off and we're gonna continue to keep reiterating it, but we love this opportunity of using what, what we have as an asset and let it be shared across the industry. And it's something you're gonna see more of. And we got to use, you know, obviously CES is the place to do it. Uh, and Gadget is a big partner here. Um, they've got their booth and they've got an uh, exciting award show uh, starting tomorrow to kind of look back on the week of, of CES and really talk about some of the new innovations that are coming down. And from a consumer standpoint, I think that's also pretty exciting. You know, we're here to do a lot of work, but there is a, a consumer element to this. And uh, that's also going to be pretty exciting to see what, what new innovations are going to come out uh, over the course of the next 12 months. As you speak to brands, advertisers, yeah. what are some of their concerns? Yeah, really comes down to transparency and trust. And it's something that we saw happen in 2017 where there's been some turmoil. You know, can you trust where your ads are being served? And you're going to hear from Oath over the course of uh, this quarter on what stages we are going to roll out to ensure that we can live up to that trust. The other thing I think that also has really become um, a focal point is the ability to create unique ad formats for the consumer. We speak so much of how an advertiser wants to reach their users by using this audience that we have, but we never think more about what does it mean to create an amazing brand experience. So ad formats is something that I think is going to be a forefront of 2018 for if we don't start thinking of what the consumer needs, they're going to shut us out and start looking at ad formats as uh, a commodity and therefore potentially even going down the road of uh, enforcing ad blocking. So if we don't take a, a more proactive approach on it, we could see ourselves in, in, a, in a much different situation. So I think those are the two themes that I'm hearing loud and clear here at CES. And finally, Tim, uh, you and I go back talking about video yes, as sir. publishers, as uh, you guys have been a leader at Vidable yep. back in the day and uh, been at it. I wanted to ask you, uh, there's this meme about um, pivot to video, yeah. that publishers need to pivot to video, and, uh, and, and that is sort of fraught with, unfortunately, failure for some. Um, looking at sort of best practices and the opportunities for publishers who perhaps come out of uh, a print you know, a heritage, uh, what are your thoughts about best practices and where are things going in terms of, uh, you know, video as a, as part of the publishing uh, experience? Yeah, with Oath, I mean, we are a all mobile focused company, but that also means how we're going to bring video into the forefront of that mobile experience. And video is one that needs to be more democratized. Uh, video content needs to be ubiquitous because there's no accounting for the public taste. And uh, if you try to produce the content on your own and you don't get the engagement, it's a heavy cost. So the more that we can work with content producers, whether they be the ones that we have with an oath specifically or the partnerships that we work with, to get video out into the mass, I think that's what's gonna help accelerate the video growth. Because if we can't bring quality content to the consumer, the consumer is not gonna take interest. So to me, that's a real big focal point for, for Oath in 18. And uh, it harks back to what you and I had talked about many years ago. And you know, if you don't create that experience, then you're not gonna have a very quality uh, relationship with the consumer. And what about advertising around video and ad load and consumer's interest and, and so forth? Yeah, well, I mean, advertisers also, I think, are you know, heavily leaning in on how they can actually create branded content. You know, a division that we have within Oath and Wright Studios does just that, uh, makes really snackable content that allows advertisers to create a strong engagement without having a heavy load. And I think that also plays well to our mobile focus to ensure that as we build these video uh, products, they're able to cross device and make sure that they deliver into our, our handheld and, and tablet devices to ensure that we have a better experience and a lightweight capacity to be able to serve. And finally, could you just explain, you know, 
the offering of the different brands as, as, as advertising opportunities and, and sort of the post-oath acquisition, which is essentially a holding company, I suppose, but the brands exist. Could you yeah. sort of explain that a little bit? We definitely lean in on our brands. Uh, you know, as I said, our, our mission is you know, build brands people love, and that really comes back to the hark of what our brands represent. You know, we, we have uh, multiple sides of the business. We, we still very much want to double down on properties like Yahoo, and within that, that's the Yahoo Finance property and you know, Yahoo Sports, those are still big, you know, behemoth uh, organizations that have massive following, uh, especially on the app e ecosystem. Yahoo Mail continues to be one of the largest properties that we have as well with massive data rich that uh, we can use and extract to be able to help have a better consumer experience. And then of course, properties like Huffington Post, you know, continue to be at the forefront of news. And the other thing too that I also say is that we continue to keep innovating on that side. Um, you know, apps like Newsroom roll out, which is getting some of the, the highest traction that we've had. Uh, you know, we start rolling out more with like AR and VR. Uh, some of the things we rolled out in December over the holiday season was pretty engaging to help create that experience on the owned and operated side. So we very much are proud about what we have on, on the brand side of the house. On the platform side, we look at that as very much as a brand as well. You know, we try to brand it in the capacity in the same way as you would look at an owned and operated because you know, whether you're a consumer or an advertiser, you might be looking at that brand experience or you might be wanting to use a technology. We try to use it in the same type of situation so that when we go out with brand people love, it could be on the owned and operated or it can also mean on a platform perspective.